Okay, so for our next little project, we're going to build a grill for an ammo car. Uh, this belongs to Mike Ledbetter. The car was built by Chris Kaufman. And nice little car, uh, but this, this grill is wooden and heavy. And we're going to attempt to make this in aluminum. So I've got some 50,000 thick, 3,003 grade aluminum. Um, I think I've got enough material to do this, so uh, let's get to hammering. Okay, I've got my piece of, first piece of metal cut out. I'm going to try to get this whole top part done in one piece. So I've got to put a big crown right in this area here, a crown here, and that'll shrink this over, and shrink that over, and shrink this over to make this piece. So uh, I'm going to take a bit of hammering and some uh, work on the English wheel, but I think we can get there. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I changed my mind a little bit. I tried to get this thing hammered out. I wasn't able to get it shrunk the way I wanted to, so it's too big a piece. So I decided to do the sides and shrink the edges. So I'm going to have a joint up here, basically, right on the corner. So it'll be a lot easier to shrink this edge than to shrink the entire thing. So I'm going to bend it first, and then I'll come in and shrink it with the shrinker stretcher. And uh, so that's a piece of aluminum on there right now. So I use the English wheel with the rubber band to get the curve here. And just a shrinker. A shrink. So at least shrink marks are in here. That's not a big deal. Uh, we're going to body work this and paint it anyway, so not, not a problem. So anyway, moving on. Okay, so I got the two sides done and curved over, and then I started working on the top part. It's coming out pretty good. I got to fine tune it. I think that's going to work pretty good. So we're going to have a, a line of rivets on the outside edge here, and we'll sand all that, all these marks off of it. I think that's going to look pretty good. Uh, I just got to get this to fit a little tighter down in this section because it's um, sitting a little proud. What I might do, I'll have to figure. Out. I might, I might just have to hammer that down. So that's what I'll work on next. Try to get that to fit better and then we'll work on the fitment of the edges. So uh, it's coming along. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. I got it pretty well fitted, trimmed it to size, got this to line up with the front of it. So we'll have to make a bottom piece. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this a little bit with a uh, flapper disc to so get some of these marks out of here. Smooth this up a little bit so we can see what we got. And uh, it's coming together pretty good. So we'll get a couple rivets in here to hold that together. And I'll put a little L metal piece down here at the bottom, or L aluminum piece rather. And uh, yeah, it's coming together. Okay, it might be a little hard to see because the uh, buck is also silver, but the aluminum is all here. I've sanded it a little bit, hit it with a flat disc to knock down those marks. You still a little see a little bit, so I think this is going to have to be painted. Um, I was hoping we could polish it, but these, these um, shrinker marks really are deep. And I don't know, maybe I could sand that down. Maybe I'll try to sand it one more time, try to get this out of there so we can, if we wanted to, we could polish this thing. It turned out pretty good. Um, got a couple marks here. Now this material down here is 40 thousandths. This up here is 50 thousandths. And the reason I did that is because I'm running out of material. Uh, we're running low on aluminum right now. So, but it doesn't matter. Uh, once you put that curve in there, it gets pretty stiff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some screws in this so that everything's together. But I'll make the bottom piece down here. And then maybe we can work on sanding these out. Uh, after we get it all fitted up. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Let me get a, a long distance view on that. Cool. Okay, so I traced the bottom of the uh, buck onto a piece of aluminum, and I bent the edges with this little tool here. You just clamp it to your workbench. I don't even know what this is called, but it's designed for bending light gauge metal. Bends this like a dream, small pieces. This won't do a big, big chunk or heavy something heavy, but it does this stuff pretty well. And then uh, I trim this edge because I got to fitting this to the bottom. I'm gonna uh, round that out a little bit. So that's just a rough cut right now. So it's got to go on the bottom. This piece of wood right there. So we'll trim that up and get it fitting nice. All right, cool. All right, so there's the uh, wood buck along with the aluminum piece. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. So I get a little trimming to do at the very tippy top, but that thing's pretty well done. I think that really recreates the shape just right. It's a whole lot lighter weight. Gonna be a little easier to work with. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. Not too bad. So uh, we'll get that trimmed up and mount it on the car next. Okay, so miracle of miracles. It fit without a whole lot of messing around. Made a little bracket in here out of a little piece of L-metal and attached to the brackets that are already there. So that fits pretty good. Tiny bit of gap, but most of that's due to the fact that the hood is not quite straight right here. So not much we can do about that. But for a cycle cart, that looks pretty good. So let me get back so you can see what that looks like. 
So you can maybe we can polish that or paint it. Either way, looks pretty cool. So all we gotta do is put some rivets in it where the screws are at. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.